All right, so <clears throat> I just explained annotation. Now we're going to start dimensioning. So this is what you should have. Now, you might not have <clears throat> the numbers because I put those in. But just know, one, two, three, four. We're starting at the bottom. It goes on over three. And what I'm probably going to end up having you guys do is maybe like three or four of them on your own. And that's what you're going to turn in. Okay, so we're going to get started down here, and let me just zoom in. Z, enter, and I'm going to go window. Where's my window? And I'm just going to draw a window around this one, because this one we're going to start with. Okay, now, <clears throat> remember, you want to keep all your text, all your dimensions, as much as possible on the inside. That way you've got room for text, for notes, or for whatever. So mostly we can do everything right here, and all we need to do is either get get a dimension for the width here or here, and I'll probably just go right here. All right, so let's get started now. We, she's already got it set up. Sandra's already set it up for you. So we're going to go linear, and we're going to start right here. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to come up. Oh, wow, look how high that. I'm going to fix that real quick. Dimensions, modify, lines, extend beyond dim lines. We, we got to change that to point, point oh 0.06. That point 0.12 is a bit much. So close, and even that's still kind of high. Let's, let's fix that too. Go back, modify. Let's go point oh 0.03 and hit OK. And close, and we'll see. Oh, yeah, that's much better. All right, so let's see if we can continue on with um, with a baseline. Uh, and yes, we can. So here, and here, and here. Okay, well, I don't know about you, but my baseline is too big. Okay, so I need to fix that. I'm going to go back in, go to Modify. Right here on the lines, right here is my baseline spacing. Let's try point one two five and see what that looks like and close and now we're gonna have to uh, we might have to redo it but let's see if we can't just update our drawing and select everything and no we're gonna have to redo it it did not update okay so let's go well let me just select everything here and delete alright so let's do this again linear and then baseline yeah that's better much much better so now let's go over here we gotta get these steps in these the height of this in so let's do continuous on this side so linear got always got to start with linear I'm just gonna come out just a bit just a bit much <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go continue and continue and then I'm going to do a linear it goes all the way from the bottom to the top and pull that out. Now I did mess around with mine because my arrows kept covering up my ones and my ones kept coming out. So let's go look. Let's just make sure yours looks like mine. We go to modify lines. I have 0.125 from my base. I put extend beyond dim lines at 0.03 offset from origin at point, um, zero 0.06 that might be a bit much too we might have to change that symbols and arrows 0 0.06 break size is point 0.125 mm. let's change that that be, might be a bit big let's go um, point 0.09 okay text point 0.06 Offset from den line, 0 0.09, that's the space here. That's kind of big too. Let's change that. Point oh 0.03. Okay. Fit, either text or arrows, best fit. Primary units, two precision places. Suppress your leading uh, zeros. And we're not going to do alternate units quite yet. 
Okay. We hit OK and close. And ooh, I didn't like that at all. So what you can do with this is grab it, has highlight it, and just pull it over. Highlight it, pull it over. I don't know why it's doing that. Highlight it and pull it back in. And turn off your ortho. Make sure you get it lined up. Okay. All right. Now look here. We've got some lines that are crossing lines, so we need to break those lines. We also might need to pull this out because that's really close. So let's go ahead and break them. So here's the break. Oh, you can type it in. Didn't break. And it says select the dimension to add or remove break or multiple. Well, we're going to have more than one, so we're going to hit multiple. So we're going to get rid of this one. This is one that's going to break. Okay. And uh, maybe this one. We'll have to see. So hit enter. Now it says select the objects to break it. So obviously this one, this one, this one. Why isn't anything breaking? Did I, did I screw it up? I screwed it up. Okay, we're going to break this one. We're going to break this. Oh, shoot. Break. Multiple. I should have said all of these. We're breaking these. And we're breaking them with this one. And it's why isn't it breaking? What is happening? Break this one and with this one. Okay, that one worked. Why isn't it doing it for multiple? Multiple. Break it with this one. Okay, it's working now. That one's not working. Why isn't that? Oh, because I didn't select it. Break. Multiple. Because there's two. There's this one and there's this one. So we need to get that one in there. There we go. Oh, we didn't get this one. Break. Break this line. Let's put that line. There we go. So has everything got a break in it? All right, so that looks good. So we've got this whole thing done. All we need now is this width. So I'm going to go linear, and I'm going to do it over here. That way you got room up here for notes. Okay, that's number one. And if you want, you could even pull this out because that's that's pretty close. All right, so let's go over here to number two. And uh, let's go zoom, window, perfect. All right, problem number two. Well, we'll start up here at the top. I'm going to go linear. And I'm just going to do this piece right there. And then down here, I could have probably put it all on this one, but we're going to go from here. And then we're going to do a baseline that's here. All right. And now let's come over on this side. And we'll go, we'll do a linear right here. Then we're going to do another baseline. Where's my baseline? We're going to come up to here and we're going to come over to here. All right, and we've got to break this one. So you should break it as soon as you see it so you don't forget. Break. Because Lord knows my memory is terrible. All right, now we've got to do this bottom part which is unusual, we're going to do it. So we're going to come here and we're just going to do a linear, I mean a continuous, continue all the way across to this piece. All right, and you can figure this one out. Let's say you're not sure, is it symmetrical, is it the same, you're not really sure. You can add this up and subtract it from this. So you have four, minus 5, so you know this piece is 1. All right. Now we have a bit of a problem. we got to do this piece right here. We need to know how high up it is. So we're going to have to pull it out. We don't have room for it over here. So, and we're going to click it here and here, and we're just going to pull it out this way. 
And really though, because of this, Sandra's probably going to yell at me for this, but I'm going to click it. And I'm just going to pull this out and snap it to there. All right. So you got that piece. So that part's done. So now we need to get this up here. Well, I'm going to put it right here. That way you got room for notes right over here. And remember, you never dimension center lines or hidden lines. You know, that doesn't look like a center line. Don't dimension them. We don't care. All we want is the visible lines. So we're going to come do a linear. And we're going to start on this side to this piece. Then we'll come to a baseline and do the whole the whole piece. Okay. So that's that one. That one is complete. Everything's nothing's been double dimensioned. You don't want to be redundant and dimension anything twice. Okay. Like I wouldn't come up here and dimension, you know, this piece from here to here. You don't need to do that. All right, let's go over to 3. I'll just zoom in on it. Well, no, I'm going to I like my zoom all, zoom window. Zoom enter window enter. And then right here's what we want. Okay. All right. So this piece, oh, this one's an easy one. So we're going to look here. We don't even have to fool with this piece up here. We don't care. Okay. We don't. So linear. Keeping it in the, keeping it real. We're going to do baseline and go all the way across. Okay. We're going to do this little piece just like we did a minute ago. Linear. Okay. And so we're going to, I guess we're assuming that this is symmetrical. So we don't have to do this down here. Now we're going to do this, the hole over here because this is actually round. It's like a tube. This one we're going to do some diameters. So we got this one, pull it up, and we have repeat that diameter. Because you know right click is the same as enter and it will bring this up. Okay. And then you can also escape. So that's three. So let's say I want you're going to turn in three or four. All right. So you're going to bring in your um, template. Okay. Oh wait, we gotta go back and save this. So we're going to save this, save as, um, going to go to the desktop, and I'm going to do uh, practice dimensions. You know what, I'm just going to go one through three and save. All right, now I'm going to open up my drawing, my template, okay. I'm going to go to my model space. I'm going to insert, insert, go to insert tab, insert icon, more options. I got to go find where I save that one through three, one through three. Open it. Specify on screen, that's good. We want the scale to be one to one, and everything here is fine. Inches, factor of one. Okay. All right, so look how big that is. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn off my UCS icon because in this class we don't really need it. UCS icon, we always know X and Y. Off. And I'm going to turn off my grid. All right. So these are the three that I am going to be putting in my, my title block. Okay, so go to my layout and I'm going to come over here to my paper space. I'm going to click on that and it turns it into my model space and I'm going to turn off my grid because it's just annoying. All right. Now, wait, where's my dimensions? I don't know where my dimensions are. Do I have dimensions? I have dimensions. Let's go back and look. What's going on with my dimensions? Let's go to model space. Let's open it up. Dimensions. I have a lot of dimensions on here. That's bad. That is bad form. Okay. Why isn't it on here? 